today um, we're gonna be building a PVC rack for the V18 vision tubs um, it's gonna be lidless as you can see behind me I have a wooden rack and everything has lids so I gotta open them up when I want to feed it takes a long time especially when I gotta clean them out I gotta open all the lids it just takes forever now these are the V18 vision tubs I just got them in the mail first time seeing them I'm really, really impressed with them, and I can't, I can't wait to put all my snakes in them. Now, one of the nice things about it, it's 18 inches long, so the snake has a lot of room to navigate and spread its body out. It's not as wide as some of these other bins, but the dimensions actually are pretty good. Um, and one of the nice things about it is it's super smooth. The whole bin is smooth. There's no groove, nothing. So when you clean these, whether it's spot cleaning or every couple of months we got to take all the bedding out and we got to scrub it down this is going to be much much easier to clean because there's no grooves and one of the exciting things about this is that it's going to be a lidless so it's going to be flush everything's going to be smooth i don't have to work with this anymore with the lids they're not a big problem but when you have over 60 snakes it's time consuming so it's time to upgrade plus the wood after time it could deteriorate it can grow mites on there too and it's hard to clean with the pvc you can spray it down clean it and it's half the weight this this rack right here almost weighs 250 pounds maybe even 300 pounds and the pvc will be probably 120 pounds at that so i'm gonna set it up we're gonna do it in a hyperlapse and i'll explain to you what i'm doing as i go along so let's get to it. Now these are really, really easy to build. We're just gonna start off by screwing the base to the sides, and then we're just gonna flip it upright and start making our levels. Really, really simple. So now that we got the foundation built, here's the easy part, just making the levels because it's just repetitive, repetitive motion. Just putting bins down, followed by the spacer gap. This is a 1 8 inch spacer gap, followed by the PVC, and then you're just going to screw it in on each side, and you're just going to keep doing the same process over. It's really easy. Um, this is the first rack that I've built and I put it up pretty quickly and um, I had a lot of fun doing it.
Now a quick tip is, every time you make a level, just double check the size of the space from the top of the bin to the next level. So just pull everything out, take the spacer gap out, and put the bins back in. And just pull them in and out like if you were, uh, if you had a snake in there. Just make sure that a snake can't escape. Because you don't want to build a whole rack to find out that your measurements were a little off. Now, if you guys that are still using lidded bins and you have a lot of snakes, you got, you got to do this. It's a, it's a game changer. Um, I mean, cleaning bins, feeding snakes, changing water bowls, it's so much easier with a lidless rack system. I mean, it's you, once you have one, you're never going to want to go back. Trust me. Alright guys, so the rack is complete. It was really fun to build. You guys got to build these. Um, they're fun. Once you build one, you're going to want to build another one. I got PVC right there and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to build another one just like this. Um, and it saves you a lot of money and it's really, really fun to do. It's something that you got to try. So this first level down here, we left empty. I'm going to put the thermostat down there. And I could also put some odd and end things like deli cups and stuff, supplies. 
the reason why I did this also is because the floor gets cool. And sometimes you'll get like a draft. Also, dust and dirt build up on the floor the quickest. So I decided to not put any snakes there. Just start from the second level up. And these are for the V18. You could also put, well, this is the V18 right here. Good for a snake up to about two or three years old, depending on the size. And that's what this rack's going to be for. And there's my cat Picasso. Say hi. So the second rack I'm going to build is going to be for the V15, which is for hatchlings up to about six months or a little bit older. Some snakes grow s slow, so, and for the V35S. And the beauty about these vision tubs, they're all the same height, so you could interchange. V35S, it's a big bin. You could keep a larger snake in there. Um, you, might, you might be able to keep a, an adult corn snake or king snake in there if it's on the smaller side. But uh, for most, I'll go a bin bigger than that. Um, so for these, I put a 1 8 inch gap in between, which is this right here. I got this at Home Depot. It's like um, a plastic uh, thing. It was cheap. And for the, for, that's good for pretty much all snakes. But for hatchlings that are very small, you want to go with something more like this, which is about the thickness of a business card. I picked this up at Home Depot for about six bucks. You get a long roll. I cut it to size. Um, and that's what I'm going to use for this rack. That rack is going to be only V15s and V35. So I'm going to keep it like that per shelf. I got seven V35s. So seven shelves like this. And the rest is just going to be only for hatchlings. And with this thickness, you're guaranteed to ha have no escapes as long as you keep the bins closed. So I did a um, back heat on this one. You can see the heat tape in the back. Um, thermos will be on the bottom. I live in South Florida. Temperatures in the house stay around 79 degrees year round. We get a little bit cooler in the winter, but nothing like up north. So if you live in a cold environment, I definitely do belly heat. But uh, the heat in the back works fine if uh, it doesn't get too cold. So I'm going to move the bin to, I mean the rack to its final spot we're gonna fill it up with aspen and we're gonna put the water cups in and I'm gonna show you everything set up and we're gonna put snakes in all right guys before we actually set up the bins and put the snakes in I wanted to show you the back of the rack um, this is the heat tape I run it along the back it's four strips this is six inch heat tape you can get you can get pretty much any size you want. I had this on hand. I would have got 12-inch um, heat tape if I, if I had known in advance, but this is what I had on, on hand, and it works fine. And the plugs connections are down there. Thermostat will go right here. Just connect it in, and it's perfect. Um, you want to make sure you use uh, metal foil tape because this is heat resistant. So if you use regular tape, there's a chance um, it might... Peel off, melt, could even start a fire. So that's the back. And I got a surprise for you guys. I had a couple of snakes just come in the mail. So let's go check those out first. And then we'll finish setting up the bins. Alright guys, so I got a couple of boxes here. Um, this is the first one. I'm going to open this one up. I need to get a better... I got this knife, but I need an actual okay. box cutter. But this works. I'm excited about these. You're going to see why. And these these actually are not going to go in the rack. These I'm going to set up a nice tank for. Okay. Put the box in. Okay. Oh, baby. These are California red-sided garter snakes, and this is 
actually a pair of them. And I could already see how beautiful they are. Let me take them out so you can get a better look. And these are one of the, the few snakes that you could actually house together with no problems. They usually do well. And they actually like the bath. So you can put like um, a heat lamp or a bulb on like a common snake that likes belly teeth more. So that's why I'm gonna set up a nice tank for these. These are a little bit more social snakes than uh, like a king snake. Oh, that's a beautiful snake. And that's the male. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful snake. And these color up more with age. And that, that stripe on top could turn um, kind of like a bluish to it. This is an absolutely beautiful snake to own. Excited about these because you don't, you don't see these too often. They do come along, but usually people just grab them up right away. So um, I got these from John Sharp, and I'm going to post his um, company information on the screen. Now, let me go take out the girl, show you what she looks like. All right, guys, so this is the female. She's really, really fast, and she's a little bit nervous from shipping, so um, I don't want to risk losing her to record the video, so you can get a pretty good idea what she looks like through the deli cup. Nice reds on the side. It almost looks like flames. Red in the face and the cheeks. And, I mean, at this young age, that's amazing because these just intensify as they get older. So these are going to be really nice adults. So we got another uh, box to unopen. So let me go get that now. And those are fast. So here I got box number two. One more pair of snakes. Then we're going to finish up setting up the rack. traits are amel, anery, charcoal, charcoal, and hypo. And I'm going to flip the camera again so you guys get a better look. Alright guys, this is the male. And they both look identical. They're patternless. Um, they're going to turn nice and white as they get older. Some get a little bit of yellow in them, but some of them stay white. And as hatchlings, they're a little bit more on the pink side. So it's pretty sunny out here. I'm trying to get in the shade. I'm gonna get these guys back inside and um, I'll show you more of them when I set up their bins. So check this out. This is the second rack that I'm making just for the hatchlings and the V35s. If you didn't catch it the first time, I'm gonna show you how easy this is to do. All you're doing, you put the bins upside down. Just make sure they're even. And I told you this was gonna be for the hatchlings. So I want a very, very thin spacing between so the hatchlings can't escape. So there you have it right there. That's This is the spacer. For the other rack, I used the 1 8 inch. For this one, I'm using this which is about the thickness of a business card. And that's all. Now, 
the next PVC shelf goes in. So you just put it even and you put it on top. And you already have your space in there. So you're just gonna screw each side. Once that's done, you pull these out, put them on the next level, put the spacer, and then put the next PVC. Screw them in, and that's it. It's super, super simple. Really, the hardest part is finding PVC and getting it cut if you don't know how to cut it yourself. So other than that, once it's cut, I mean, these go up real quick. So now I'm just gonna go finish this up real quick and go back in the other room and set up all those bins with the ass bin, water bowls, put the snakes in, all the good stuff. So stay tuned. That was fun. Took about a half hour, 40 minutes to fill up all the bins with aspen and water bowls. Uh, now we just gotta put the snakes in and fill up the water bowls with water. Uh, you got your V18 bin uh, rack right here. And then you got your hatchling rack here with V35s. Um, I like the look of the V35 with the V15 because it fits tight. You could fit one and two tightly. I tried doing one of these V35s with a V18 and it left a large gap. It didn't look too good, so that's why I did it this way. Um, I don't have any snakes for these, these right here, so I didn't fill it up with Aspen. Um, everything that I filled, I'm gonna use. This is an extra one for now. Down here, this is why I didn't use the bottom also, besides dirt and dust and the cool breeze. Now I have a spot to um, put my thermostat, my deli cups. Um, some people like putting it on top of the rack, but I think it looks clean when it's down here. I got it set at 84. Um, I wanted to show you the, the, you know, most people use belly heat and I'm using the back heat. I just want to sh show you with the temperature gun that it is effective. So in the front, we're getting an 80, about 80 degrees. Now I don't have my air conditioning on, so the house is about 80 degrees. Normally it would be around 78. And I'm going to show you where the heat element would be. It's between 85.5 and 86. So you got a six degree temperature gradient. And again, I, I um, tested this last night when the house was cool 
and the front was 76 and the back was 86 and you have a long bin like this so the snake could decide if it wants to stay in the back and stay warm and he has a heat gradient he can come in the front cool out that's one of the good things about these long V18s it allows for the snake to decide what he wants to do if it was like a 12 inch bin he can still do it but it's a lot harder so now we're gonna fill up the water bowls and get the snakes in
guys so there it is the racks complete looking good now these are my specifications this is what works for me you guys could use whatever size bin you want you can make it eight feet tall two feet tall whatever it is that suits you that's the beauty about making your own you don't have to go off of someone else's blueprint and um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I really appreciate the support take care guys For those of you who don't know, our Instagram page is Cloud Colubrids. Come check us out and don't forget to follow us. Thank you. How we watch things we can't walk away. Let's live.